All right, so if you're watching this video, it's because you've chosen to do the wild weather poster directions. So I am going to be showing you um, what it looks like on Class Kick here. I do have a little audio file going through the directions here, but I'll give you a few more specifics in this video. So first off, you're going to choose one of the following topics to research and create your weather poster. So you either have a hurricane, blizzard, thunderstorm, or tornado. You have to pick one of these four. After that, you're going to include the following information in your poster. So you're going to have a definition of your topic, so a definition of the hurricane, blizzard, thunderstorm, or tornado, depending on what you pick. At least three pictures, so it could be a picture of an actual hurricane, or it could be like uh, a picture of the aftermath of the uh, severe weather that you've chosen. You're going to list the locations of where this weather may occur. So I'm not talking about a specific place, like a specific city, um, but you can list a general region. So like for instance, for to um, tornadoes, you would say like Tornado Alley, but then you'd also say the south, right? Because we talked about that in class, how Tornado Alley needs to be kind of updated to include the south because there's actually a lot of tornadoes that occur in the south. Next, you're going to list two examples of damage caused by this type of weather. What causes this type of weather? List two safety tips for anyone who might experience this type of weather. And lastly, three fun facts about your type of weather. Um, on page 10 of Class Kick is my example. Now, I did an example of a flood. It's not one of your choices. Okay. So, but it is kind of giving you an idea of what yours will look like here. So at the top here, type of weather, flood. I have three pictures here. I included captions because I thought um, it was nice to inform you what it was of and where it was at. So for instance, this first picture is of flash floods in Germany in 2021. I have a flood in Nashville in 2021, and then finally a flood in Canada in 1996. Like I said, for the locations section, uh, for, for mine, you're not going to list a specific city, right? For here, I just said flooding is more likely to occur um, like near rivers, or they're called floodplains, and coastal areas near the ocean. That's where you're going to have more of this flooding occurring. Types of damage that might occur. Um, one, we might have some structural damage to buildings and bridges. So maybe um, some parts of our buildings or our bridges are taken out by flooding. Uh, otherwise, we can have floodwaters contaminating our drinking water. Causes of this type of weather with Flooding, it can be caused by heavy rainfall, storm surges like we talked about in class, or dams breaking. Safety tips, do not walk through flowing water because you can get carried away by the water. So you have to be really careful. Also, do not drink the flood water as it can be contaminated. And lastly, I have my fun facts here. Floods are the most common natural hazard in the U.S., Flash floods can bring 10 to 20 foot high walls of water, and a car can be washed away in as little as 2 feet of water. Now the very next page, I have it all laid out for you, so all you have to do is fill it in. One thing I do want to point out though, is please do not plagiarize, okay? So you can't just copy and paste. You can't just take word for word of something you've looked up on the internet. You have to put it in your own words. And if you need help, make sure you ask your LC or even ask me or another teacher, how would I put this into my own words? Make sure you ask because if you don't and you plagiarize, we'll find out and you have to do it over again. And instead of having to do it over again multiple times, it's best to just do it right the first time, right? So if you do have questions though, um, please ask. It's very important that you ask. 
also you have a lot of time to work on this project so I don't want to just see under let's say types of damage one word um, answers here I want to see effort put into this project you have a long time to work on it therefore I want you to, to see you putting in the effort I don't want you to just quickly fill this out and be done okay I want you to actually put effort in to making this look nice so again if you do have questions please ask me on the some of the last pages here we have a rubric so what I'm actually looking for in your project All right, so make sure you ask questions. If you have any, um, feel free to email me since we don't have class this week, and I will reply as soon as possible.